Tired of feeling boxed in by small lots and high prices? Welcome to El Cajon, where you get more space, more sunshine, and a lot more for your money. Today, we're touring this hidden gem and breaking down why so many people are making the move. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in San Diego, then subscribe and click the bell for notification and share with your friends and family so that you can be the first to know about the current market here in San Diego, California. My name is Victoria Sandoval and I'm with Select Premier Properties. We get calls from people just like you every single day. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or nine months, feel free to reach out. All my contact information is on the description below. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to San Diego, California. Now let's check out El Cajon. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel, San Diego House Hunters. Today we're diving into one of East County's most talked about cities, El Cajon. And before you ask, yes, I'll explain what that actually means because trust me, it's not just about finding it on a map. So whether you're eyeing your first home or thinking about trading in that beach life for a little bit more space, this video is for you. Let's answer all of your burning questions. First things first, where's El Cajon? Well, if you've ever driven 15 to 20 minutes east of downtown San Diego, you probably passed it without even realizing. Nestled in between the Cuyamaca Mountains and Mount Helix, El Cajon sits at the crossroads of the Interstate 8 and State Route 67. It's close enough to enjoy all San Diego has to offer, but far enough to escape the coastal craziness when you need some breathing room. As for the lifestyle here, El Cajon is all about balance. You've got parks like Wells Park, where you can take the dogs out and have a family fun picnic. And Sapon Casino is just a short drive from here if you're feeling lucky. Want to shop? We've got you covered with Parkway Plaza. And if you're a foodie, there's a great mix of old school diners and authentic Mexican spots that'll keep you coming back. You'll see families, young professionals here, and retirees all blending together. In short, El Cajon is where East County meets community living with the side of fun. Now let's talk about the name El Cajon. It's Spanish for the box, which makes sense because this city is literally nestled in the valley, surrounded by mountains. So yeah, living here is like having your own cozy little box with gorgeous views on all sides. Honestly, they could have called it the Oasis because the weather here is practically perfect all year long, especially if you love warm, sunny days. Speaking of weather, let's address one of the most important questions. How's the weather in El Cajon? Well, let me tell you, if you're a fan of warm, sunny days, El Cajon is basically a paradise. We're talking summer highs that hover around 90 degrees and winters that rarely dip below 40 degrees. You'll get about 260 days of sunshine a year, which is a lot better than May gray and June gloom over the coast. So sunscreen, yes, snow shovel, absolutely not. Now this part is for all of you social butterflies out there. El Cajon knows how to throw parties. So whether it's a weekly El Cajon Classic Cruise, which is a must see for vintage car enthusiasts, or Mother Goose Parade that's been delighting families since 1947, you'll never have to wonder, what should we do this weekend? Or if you're into international fair, the Cajon Valley Jamboree celebrates the diverse cultures that call this city home. So get your calendars out, El Cajon is ready to keep you busy. So El Cajon is home to around 106,000 people and it's growing every year. The city's diverse population includes families, retirees, and young professionals. So whether you're looking for a sense of community or a peaceful suburban vibe, you'll find it right here. Okay, so let's talk history for a second because El Cajon's roots run very deep. Originally inhabited by the Kumayai people, this area is part of a massive land grant from Mexico back in the 1800s. It wasn't until the late 19th century that this city started to grow thanks to, you guessed it, farming and agriculture. Today, you'll still find pockets of that old school tar mixed with modern developments. It's a city that respects its past while looking towards the future. Now the million dollar question, what's the housing market like in El Cajon? Well, as of now, prices range from the high 500s to well over a million dollars, depending on the neighborhood and size. But the median price is sitting around 850,000 to around 950,000. Want a three bedroom, two bath? Totally doable. You need something a bit more luxurious? We've got that too, especially if you head up to Rancho San Diego or Fletcher Hills. You've got a great mix of older homes with character and new builds for fresh, modern vibe. Okay, so let's talk about something that's on everyone's mind, crime. El Cajon is generally considered safe, with crime rates close to the national average. Some areas have higher property crime rates, but overall El Cajon is well policed. The local police department here is proactive with community engagement and neighborhood watch programs, keeping things in check. My tip, always research specific neighborhoods and check local crime maps when home shopping. 
safety first. So El Cajon is well connected. You've got the San Diego Trolley Red Line running through the city, making commuting to downtown a breeze. And if you prefer driving, the 8, the 94, and the 67 freeways are right there too. You can get anywhere in the county very quickly. Sure, there's traffic. This is California after all, but it's nothing compared to the gridlock that you'll get in other parts of the county. Love the outdoors? You'll feel right at home in El Cajon. Whether you want to hit the trails in Mission Trails Regional Park or take the dogs to Wells Park or have a family day at Kennedy Park, there's plenty of green spaces to enjoy. And if you're into hiking, the nearby mountains offer some fantastic trails and killer views as well. Got kids? El Cajon has plenty of schooling options. Cajon Valley Union School District runs K through eight schools and Grossman Union High School District serves the older kids. Top rated schools like Fletcher Hills Elementary and Bahala High School are standout options. And there's also a good mix of private and charter schools. Teacher to student ratios hover around one teacher for 22 students, which means the kids get a decent amount of attention in the classroom. My tip, always check out the school ratings and visit campuses to find the right fit for your family. So why is El Cajon so popular? Simple, affordability and space. Compared to the places like downtown or La Jolla, El Cajon gives you way more bang for your buck. You can actually find homes here with large yards, imagine that. Whether you're looking for a modern town home or a sprawling ranch style home, there's something for everyone. Plus the proximity to major highways, make commuting to San Diego a breeze. All right, so my tips for first time home buyers, listen up. One of the best tips I can give you is to work with a local agent, a San Diego agent who knows El Cajon inside and out. Pricing here is competitive and knowing when to pounce on a deal is key. Also think about future value. El Cajon's rapidly growing and homes here will likely appreciate faster than you think. Get in while you can because prices are rising. So which subdivision is right for you? That all depends on what you're after. If you're looking for more of a suburban feel, Rancho San Diego and Fletcher Hills are great options. But if you want more space and more of a rural lifestyle, check out Granite Hills or Crest. And for first time home buyers, Bastonia offers some of the most affordable homes. So wherever you land, El Cajon has a neighborhood that fits your vibe and lifestyle. All right, my friends, that's a wrap into our deep dive of El Cajon. From affordable homes to great schools, sunny weather, and a real estate sense of community, this city offers a lifestyle that's hard to beat, especially if you're looking for more space without leaving San Diego County. So whether you're looking to move here with your family, start fresh, or just looking for the perfect neighborhood vibe, El Cajon has something for everyone. And hey, with over 22 years of real estate experience under my belt, I've seen firsthand how much this city has to offer and how quickly it's growing. So if El Cajon is catching your eye and you want some personalized help finding the perfect place to call home, you know who to call. I'm here to help you every step of the way. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Victoria Sandoval and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and share with a friend for more neighborhood tours. Drop a comment below if you got any burning questions about El Cajon or real estate in general. See you in the next one. Bye.